had a couple of friends that were up and about with us with their guitars. One is our own Hannah Siegel from our youth group and religious school and everywhere that we look in the... In the I know. <laughs> and Catherine wants me to say, you know, the religious and cultural vice president for our region, Nifty, right? The reform movement's youth movement, Nifty, Missouri Valley region. And she oh, often has a guitar in her hand singing Jewish songs and prayers, and that's lovely. And we also have the director of Camp Asrui. Uh, Asrui, once upon a time, we knew the name of it. The Olin Sang Ruby Union Institute. And it is one of the reform movement's hallmark camps within this whole regional network of camps. And we have folks from different camps. A lot of our kids are going to Asrui, but we have kids going to Massachusetts, to Camp Eisner. We have Gucci represented in Indiana. We have some folks that have been to Kutz Camp, a national camp. Yes, SciTech, Six Point SciTech. The reform movement has all of these network of camps. We have some alumni, I saw a JCC Ranch Camp sweatshirt out there. That's part of the Denver JCC. We, uh, Schwader, yes, there's Schwader, also connected to Congregation Emmanuel in Denver. Schwader, we have a lot of kids that are going to Schwader. All of these different camps, <laughs> all of, they're all telling me what to do on both sides. It's just like home. All of these experiences are powerful, powerful forces in so many people's lives. And while these are sleepaway camps, we have our own camp here. There's a JCC camp. All of these day camp experience too help to build not just a Jewish future, but a Jewish present. So Sally Kane is the new director of Asrui, and, and, and we asked him to come in and share a drash with us. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. Thank you, Rabbi Green. It is so nice to be here with all of you in Boulder. This was my first time to Boulder, so I'm assuming it's always 70 and sunny and beautiful like today. Uh, and it's great to see so many Asrui campers and so many campers from other great Jewish camps. Uh, I want to start by thanking all of you. Thank you for sharing Rabbi Green and Catherine with us in the summer. One of the things that makes us really special is that we're fortunate to have over 50 rabbis, cantors, and educators who come and spend time at camp in the summer. Uh, so thank you for sharing them with our camp community. I thought I'd tell a story tonight. I want to tell a story about a great scholar, and his name was Choni. And Choni was out for a walk one day, thinking about what he had learned that morning at the yeshiva, and he's walking along the road. It's a hot, hot day, and Choni's a little winded, maybe like somebody who lives at sea level, who comes to Boulder for the first time, I don't know. So he's walking along the road, and he comes across this old man, and the man is planting a tree along the side of the road. He says, old man, my friend, what are, you, what are you doing? And the man said, I'm planting a carob tree. And Choni said, wow, you know, carob trees take many, many years to grow. You know, my friend, I, I, I don't mean to call you old, but I don't think you're going to be around by the time this carob tree gives any fruit. And the man said, oh, I, I'm not planting this tree for me. I'm planting this tree for the next generation and for the generation after that. And Choni thought to himself, that is so, so beautiful, such a powerful sentiment. And Choni said to the man, I've been walking all day, I'm tired, I'm hot. Do you mind if I kind of lie down here by the side of the road while you're planting your tree and, and I can just take a nap? And the man said, of course, of course. So Choni lies down by the side of the road and he falls deep asleep and he has a dream. What does he dream about? Summer camp. <laughs> and Choni dreams about all of his memories from summer camp as a kid. He dreams about going down the water slides. He dreams about horseback riding. Choni dreams about singing, sitting around the campfire and playing guitar. Choni dreams about doing art and dance and drama and playing sports like soccer and basketball. And Choni remembers that 
There were some couples at camp that even met and got married and stayed married for 52 years or longer. <laughs> but most importantly, Honey remembers the friends that he made and the feeling of community that he had at summer camp. And it was such a wonderful, beautiful dream. And Honey, Honey wakes up and he feels rested and he looks above him and he's covered, there's branches high above him. And he's kind of confused because when he had gone to sleep, there was this short tree and all of a sudden, oh my gosh, a giant tree above him. And he gets up and there's a young man there watering the tree. And Honey says, excuse me, who are you? And the man says, oh, my grandfather planted this tree 70 years ago and I take care of it. And Honey realizes he hadn't slept for a couple of hours. He must have slept for 70 years here along the side of the road. And he realized that what this man had told him, that he was planting a tree for the next generation, Honey actually got to see that come to life. I tell this story for a couple reasons. I want all the kids in the room to remember Honey's dream, to think about all of the fun things that happen at summer camp, the friends you make, the community that you're a part of. That's whether you're at Asrui or any other great Jewish overnight camp. But I want all the adults in the room to remember the carob tree. Summer camp is a lot like that carob tree. It's an investment in the future. Sending a kid to summer camp, it's about today, this year, and it's about the future and the impact that camp has. Thank you. Shabbat shalom. Summer camp wasn't in the Gemara. Yeah, right? <laughs> <laughs> you know, this idea of, 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 of camp is really important. And, you know, Catherine in particular has been really a, a strong, our director of lifelong learning has been a strong advocate for many, many years. So whether it's, we've had all of these kids go to different kinds of camps really around the country. And it's, it's kind of beautiful because when they come back, and maybe some of you have had that too, that experience when you come back, there's a little bit more strength and resilience and grounding in, in Jewish life. It's a tremendous investment on lots of levels, but it makes a difference in people's lives. And that's why we wanted to kind of raise that up a little bit tonight. And I'm grateful that uh, you're here. And you know, also our regional director from NIFI, Beth Lipschitz, is also here. And for some of the kids in our youth group with Bryant, you know, this is a, a real priority. And we want to continue to nurture and, and water that tree because uh, it brings wonderful things into the world. Let's